Women leaving prison are less likely to reoffend with the support of a specialised program. However, it needs government funding to continue. With Indigenous women 15 times more likely to be imprisoned, the program is especially beneficial in Aboriginal communities. For 18 months, Emily Folson has met with two women for coffee and a chat, but it's not an ordinary friendship. She's a volunteer mentor for Beyond Barbed Wire, a program aiming to stop women reoffending after leaving prison. Just little things like getting a job, um, getting stuff sorted out for daycare, um, being involved in community groups or just pursuing an activity that they really want to do but didn't think they, they could or knew how to. A new documentary depicts the journey of more than 80 women who participated in the two-year program, many of them mothers. I wouldn't have my kids back there, and I probably wouldn't have been there. So if you see in jail, you didn't have a jail. That means the world made out my kids there with me. Working in one correctional centre, there's another common factor. And at any point in time, approximately 80% of the female inmates are Aboriginal. Most of those women were primary carers for their children prior to incarceration. It's estimated that Indigenous incarceration costs Australia more than $7 billion. The program organisers say Beyond Barbed Wire puts $2 back into the community for every $1 spent on the service. A cost-benefit analysis shows more than 75% of participants aren't reoffending. Keeping mum in the community with her kids where she belongs rather than in jail. Now looking to expand, discussions are underway to secure government funding. Alison Dance, Win News.